He's a wonderful counselor. That means he's a wonder of a counselor. Amazing, supernatural. It reminds me of what Paul says in Romans chapter 11. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? So as I've been meditating on this name, I've asked myself, what makes him such a wonder of a counselor? There are a lot of counselors, and, and there's some good counselors, but this text tells us in Isaiah that he surpasses all of them. He is the wonderful counselor. Why? Well, one reason is that he knows people. He has insight into the human heart. Jesus knows all about us. John chapter 2 tells us that Jesus knew what was in the heart of man. And throughout the Gospels, you see that people marveled at Jesus' ability to know what they were thinking, to know what was in their hearts. He's a wonderful counselor because he knows people. And he's a wonderer of a counselor because he will always tell us the truth. He doesn't just tell us what we want to hear. But he knows what we need to hear, and he'll tell us what we need to hear, even if we don't want to hear it. You want to know how to respond to your husband? How to raise your children? How to deal with that difficult co-worker? Ask the wonderful counselor. You need wisdom for your future? Need wisdom for your family? You have a broken relationship? You're struggling with a temptation or a sinful addiction? What do you do? Ask the wonderful counselor. Turn to him for counsel. And isn't it great to know that he's a counselor we always have with us? By his Holy Spirit who lives in us. You don't have to call him up to get an appointment. You don't have to wait, you know, four weeks on the waiting list till an opening comes up to get into this counselor. You don't have to take your checkbook with you or pay 150 bucks an hour for wonderful counsel. 24-7... And all you've got to pay is a humble heart, a listening ear, a willingness to say yes, Lord, to his counsel. He's available. Turn to him for counsel. But not only turn to him, trust his counsel. 